Hey guys, Zach you here, back with another video. Today's video is gonna be pretty short, and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to use tools in Roblox Studio and how to create them. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is go to Workspace, click the plus icon, and we're gonna add the tool. Let's rename this tool to Stick, because that's what I'll be making today. Now inside this stick, we're gonna add a mesh part. Now this part is really important, Rename this to handle. And if you don't change the name to handle, then it won't work because the game won't know what the character is going to pick up. Let's resize this to make it look more like a stick. There, I think that's good enough. This is going to be pretty basic. You can do anything you want. For example, a blaster, an iPhone, or really anything that you need for your game. Okay. Now, there are two ways to store our tool in Roblox Studio. The first way is by keeping it in terrain like we have right now. And this way, when you spawn in and you walk over the stick and you touch it, then it goes into the player's inventory. The other way is by dragging the stick into the starter pack. This way, it'll automatically spawn inside every player's inventory the second they join the game. But for this video, I'm going to keep it in workspace. Okay, let's test out how it looks. Let's walk to the stick. And there you go. You can see we have it. But I don't really like how the stick is going inside his hand. But we can change that. To do this, go into the properties and scroll down until you see position. And we're going to change the Y value to minus 0.1. As you can see, the stick is right over here like I wanted it to be. For now, for the next part, we're going to make the stick play a sound when it's equipped and when it's activated. Which is basically just when you click using the stick. So what we're going to do first is we're going to add two different sounds. We're going to change this to equip and this to activate. Now in the equip, we're going to change the sound ID to this, which I'll leave in the description. It's just a default Roblox sound. And in activate, we're going to do the same thing, but with another ID. Okay, now let's add the code. Inside our stick, we're going to add a local script and this is going to be pretty simple. Okay, now let's test it out. Strange, when I equip it, or activate it, a sound doesn't play. But I think I know why. We just forgot to put these two sounds into the handle. Okay, now let's test it out again. As you can see, it works. Now, obviously, this sound is not really meant for a stick, but you can put whatever sound you want, and you can create your own sounds, too. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.